So this is just a quick video just to show you how to get a Kinect working on your PC. Uh, mainly to use it as a webcam or you can use it as a microphone or anything, any sort of creative project that you might want to do with it. Um, so I'm just going to go over basics of how to do that. So first thing you need to do is you need to get an adapter. Um, this is the specific one that I've got and it's working fine for me um, and it's you know, relatively cheap. So um, get an adapter, I'll leave a link for this one if you want to use this one you can do that or you can buy one that's similar. Obviously it might not work with the method that I'm using if it's uh, a different model but um, it should be similar. Um, and the next thing you want to do is you need to download um, all of the drivers and uh, applications to get this to work properly. So um, as a basic we just need to um, download the Connect runtime uh, and from what I've seen online you want to get version 2.0 and the upgrade on top of that which is version 2.2 uh, and um, install both of these uh, do version 2.0 first and then 2.2 uh, and then once you've um, installed these uh, you should have the latest drivers um, to get Connect working on Windows 10 um, if you just install version 2.0 I noticed it, um, it won't work um, as well on Windows 10, I had to um, upgrade that manually. So installing both of these should get that to work. Uh, and then you want to install the SDK, um, and the SDK will allow you to do a basic test um, just to make sure that Connect is working. Uh, and I'll, I'll show an example of that soon. Um, so once you've... Um, I'll, leave the <coughs> I'll leave the links for all of these in the description. Um, once you've got all of these, you just need to then um, install all of them, um, which is simple enough, I don't need to show you that. Uh, and once you've installed them all, um, you want to navigate to your device manager. And you should notice, um, if this has worked correctly, you'll see Connect Sensor under Devices. Uh, and you'll see, you'll see it there. So what you want to do is um, just right-click on that and choose um, Update Driver and you want to choose um, update um, automatically uh, and what it what it should do is then if for whatever reason the runtime hasn't found the most up-to-date driver um, Windows will do that for you and it will just give you better compatibility with um, using the Kinect um, that's one thing that should help um, so once you've done that you just then need to um, after you've got the SDK installed we want to just search for the um, the Connect SDK, uh, and then just run a test. So you want to just open uh, open up the SDK, and then just click Run under the um, Configuration Verifier, and it will just give us a list of what is and isn't working. So it takes a, a few seconds to do that. Alright, so it's just giving us a basic overview. I think this is always has an exclamation mark. It's just telling you that it's detected and it's running fine. So um, that should give you a basic overview. If you do get any problems, you can see here if there's a problem with your configuration. So once you've done that, that should be you should be good to go with that and you should be able to use it with all the programs that you want. Uh, and uh, yeah, hopefully that's helped you.